what's amazing kind of about the vision is I know you've, you went through some different trials on how to leverage AI and maybe some iterations to get to where you are today, to get to that 60% efficacy, efficacy rate that you're at today. And uh, maybe some of that journey would be interesting for, you know, how you, how you actually find out what you need to make AI work, I guess, what components are there and what are the but, lessons to learn? Yeah. And, you know, you know, when I started, you know, you read, if you read the story about Watson, I knew this was going to be about, you know, a four or five, six year adventure because it took them about that many years to get Watson to play Jeopardy, you know, and in the misadventure, it really started with the data piece of it, right? You know, one of the big questions, you know, when Sujay and I started this was really around, you know, should we build an access point? You know, mm -hmm. and really the reason we built an access point was not because we thought the market needed another access point. It was because we wanted to make sure we wanted to get, we could get the data we needed to really answer the question of why, why you know, why are you having a connectivity problem? You know, and when you think about AI ML, you know, there's a slight difference, right? AI is really building something that does something on par with a human. Mm -hmm. ML is a tool that you do to solve a problem, right? And, you know, and the vision here was really, you know, can we build something that does something on par with a network domain expert? You know, so that journey really began with the data, you know, first of all, and it probably took us a year or two just to get the data we needed into some form. Oh, hang on here. Okay. Yep. What? You know what? I forgot about this problem. Well, it actually, it actually looks cool behind you now. It's like you got a shadow now. Are you, are you good with this? Okay, we'll keep going. That's fine. Uh, yeah. uh, but anyway, yeah. So as I was saying, you know, the journey started with really with the data, you know, and making sure we could answer that question: Why are you having a connectivity problem? And that's why we started the access point because the access point has 80% of the data you need to really answer that question. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would tell you, most of our customers, even before we got to the AI piece of this, right. customers just saw value of getting the data to the cloud, right? Yeah. You know, because the same, you know, the same data, you know, if you think about Marvis as this AI assistant, the same data that Marvis needed to basically help answer this question is the data that, an IT administrator team needs to look at. And they appreciate the fact that it was structured in such a way that we could apply data science to. So it has a very structured format that a, you know, a real person would say, yeah, that's exactly what I need too, right? And so, yeah, so that's, where we, that's where we got started. That's really interesting. So I, like in, I know a lot of times in the past, it's been difficult for networking companies to really do well with application layer things. It seems like that's been a challenge over the years, even with acquisitions, when they start and networking companies get on the end node, they struggle a lot. It seems like just with different, whether it's a security initiative or whatever the initiative may be. 